HQ-170 is a new China's short-range air defense system. It evolved from the HQ-17, China's copy of the Russian Tor. According to Pakistan Defense, China imported a total of 35 Tor M1 systems from Russia and offered to co-produce this air defense system in China. However, Russia reportedly refused. Eventually, China copied the Tor M1 and developed its indigenous version, the HQ-17, which featured some improvements, including a more modern radar. The HQ-17 is a further development. This could be a good indication of how self-sufficient and advances China's weapon industry. The pre-production version of the HQ-17 was first publicly revealed in 2018 in the form of the FM-2000 air defense missile system dedicated to export markets. Operational HQ-17 systems were first publicly revealed in 2019 during a military parade. The HQ-17 uses a new wheel chassis instead of tracked. In terms of capabilities it is broadly similar to the Russian Tor M2 system. Overall it resembles versions of the Tor based on a Belarusian MZKT6922 high mobility wheel chassis. Some components of the HQ-17 such as the radar might be actually more advanced than those of the Russian Tor. The HQ-17 can engage all kinds of modern air targets, including aircraft, helicopter, UAVs, cruise missiles and precision-guided munitions. Basically, it is intended to destroy targets that long- and medium-range air defense systems failed to hit. The HQ-17 was designed to protect mechanized formations but it can be also used to protect important stationary assets such as military bases, airfields, ports, supply depots, command centers and so on. The HQ-17 launcher vehicle carries both radars and a total of 16 missiles. Missiles are launched vertically. The maximum range of fire is around 15 kilometers. Missiles can reach their targets at an altitude of up to 10 kilometers. Hit probability of a single missile against aircraft is up to around 45 to 80 percent. The HQ-170 is based on a 6x6 chassis. It seems that this chassis is produced by Dongfeng Motor Corporation. A central tire pressure system is fitted as standard. The cab is lightly armored and provides some degree of protection against small arms fire and shell splinters.